If you are new to running local large language models like Mistral or Llama, you might want to try Ollama. It's super easy and flexible. Plus, it's completely free because it's open source. But what if your computer doesn't have enough power to run Ollama smoothly? Or maybe you'd rather not install another tool on your machine and keep it clean? Don't worry, there are other options. One way is to use Google Colab. I've actually made a tutorial about that, which I'll link below. But today, I want to show you how to run Ollama on a cloud development platform called Lightning AI. And the best part, it's free, although with some limitations. Lightning AI is like a super-powered version of Visual Studio Code, where you get 15 free credits per month. Each credit is worth $1, and depending on the type of GPU you choose, that can give you up to 22 hours of free GPU time each month. If you want to learn more about Lightning AI, check out the video I made about it in the description below. As always, you'll find a written version of this tutorial on my blog with all the commands and step-by-step -step instructions. And if you'd rather take a shortcut, you can use the Studio template I created for free. Just copy it into your own Lightning Studio to get started. If you'd rather set up Olama yourself from scratch, stick around and follow my step-by-step -step guide. Normally, you'd install Olama on Lightning AI by running their installation script, which can be found on their website under Download and then Linux. Then, in the Lightning Terminal window, you'd run the curl command copied from the Olama website to install it. However, this script installs Olama on a non-persistent drive, so each time you open your Lightning Studio, you'll need to reinstall it again. This is due to the way the Olama script works, which isn't compatible with Lightning's persistent environments as explained in their documentation. Instead of running the usual installation command for Olama on Lightning AI, we'll make a small tweak to the install script itself. This adjustment will allow us to download and install Olama in a way that persists across sessions in your Lightning Studio environment. The first step is to download and modify the Olama install script in your Lightning Studio. To do this, run this curl command to save the install script locally as a file called install.sh. Then edit the script by replacing the Olama install directory with the path to your team space file copied from the Lightning AI documentation, like so. The next step is to execute the modified script. Before you can do this, however, you'll need to give yourself permission to run it by running the command chmod plus x install dot sh. Once you've done that, you should be able to execute the script using dot slash install dot sh, which will download and install Olama along with all its necessary dependencies. Next, we need to modify the path variable so that our studio knows where to find the Olama installation and can execute commands. We'll do this by editing the dot studio rc configuration file. In this file, add the following line to set the path variable. This will tell your studio to look for executables in the directory where Olama is now installed. Once you've made this change, restart your studio. Olama should now be automatically added to your path, allowing you to execute Olama commands without any issues. You can now try out the Olama command and it should be recognized by your studio. To run Olama, use the Olama serve command in one terminal window. In another terminal window, you can run the Llama 3.1 model with Olama using the command Olama run Llama 3.1. Since this is the first time you're doing this, it will take a few minutes to download the model from the Olama server. 
The next time you use the Olama run command, it will be much faster because the model will already be installed. With everything up and running smoothly, we can now delete the install script as we've successfully installed Olama and won't need it anymore. Finally, let's rename our studio to something we'll remember later and restart it. Now that we've installed Olama, let's play around with it and see how Lightning AI can help us make it faster. One of the benefits of using Olama with Lightning AI is that you can download and install other models from the Olama model library, which will be persisted in your studio. This means you can easily switch between different models and experiment with different configurations without having to reinstall them each time. Currently, your studio is running on CPU mode with 16 GB VRAM. Let's try running Llama in verbose mode, which will provide more detailed information about the processing time. The command is olama run llama 3.1 dash dash verbose. To get a better understanding of how fast Olama can respond, let's ask it for something like, where do llamas live? This should give us an answer along with the time it took to respond. To switch to GPU mode, click on the Studio Environment button at the top right corner. You're currently running on CPU, which doesn't use any tokens. Now select Switch to GPU from the menu, this will bring up a list of available GPU servers, showing their specs, cost, and estimated waiting time until they're ready for use. Let's start with the cheapest option, T4. Please note that it might take a few seconds, or sometimes over a minute, for Lightning AI to prepare this instance, depending on system load and other factors. When your GPU is ready, you'll get a confirmation pop-up asking you to switch. Now we've switched, let's try that same question again. Where do llamas live? As you can see, the response comes through much quicker. And that's it! You've successfully installed Olama in a persistent way on Lightning AI. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If there's something specific you'd like me to cover next, just leave a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.